diving kaiju, what I want to talk about is there's a stuff coming out of Japan right now that we have to be prepared for. There's things that we have to be ready for. What is it? What's going to happen if we're not prepared? What's going to happen to you? Let's look at this in the simplest way. We have automated identification and data capture systems. These are things that are coming in. Japanese are using these. We need to get ready. Are we using them yet? What are they? It's a ways of getting information into a system without any human involvement, as little as possible. It's a derivative of um, Morse code, and it comes out just simple barcodes. Everybody's familiar with this. We've all seen this. We've all used this for our entire lives. They've been around so long. <laughs> just like Mothra coming out of Japan. When these things first came here, they were great. They were incredible. They're incredibly powerful. Everybody's like, man, this is changing everything. Now I don't have to actually look at the can and say, is this a can of soup or is this a can of beans? I don't know. We can get so creative with these. Wow, how exciting. This is great. What else can we do with these? We can make them kind of fun looking, really. No, that's not so exciting. So what we found out eventually was that these things are just a moth. They're neat, but if they're not connected to a big database, it doesn't matter. It's just putting a digital numeric name onto the same product we already have. So from there, what do we do? Barcodes started to get longer. They started to add more things into them. Now we have Gidra, who's big and strong, long neck, bigger long codes. Great, let's make the longer, longer codes. It's not just numbers anymore. Now you can put in the full ASCII set into these codes. They're great, they're lots of fun. We can put predefined codes into them that tells what the following code will be. Can we get more creative? Hell no. Everything's coming out the same thing. What is going on with this? Why am I so disappointed? These codes are great, these codes are wonderful, but they're pretty much the same thing. Just the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> All of these codes are so failable. These codes are very long. If you don't have a nice, flat, even, long place to put this code, it's going to get screwed up. It can't be read. If you have an eight-year-old with a Sharpie, you're dead. If you have to choose between either one of these, you're pretty much in trouble no matter what. There's nothing you can do with it. So what do you do? The next things that are coming up are a lot of fun, and they have a lot of really interesting things. But what do you read it with? You read it with QCAT. Everybody remember these? These things were great. You plug it into your computer. You go. You try to find the drivers. You come back. You have to reboot your computer. You put in the drivers. You reboot the computer. It still doesn't work. You go over. You scan it. You get the magazine. You find out it's a Radio Shack ad, which was printed on there. The, the Godzilla of these things that are coming out now. There's a lot of great things that are coming out now. You'll see them, and they are two-dimensional codes that are printable and they don't take up as much space. They can hold a lot of data. They're very easy to program. Things like these, QR codes, blot codes, shot codes, um, data matrices, you can use lots of color, things like this. There's redundancy built into them and they do a lot of neat things. One of the fun things they do with this is uh, object hyperlinking, connecting your computer to objects out in the world. These are things that you want to be able to do. You can do it in advertising, these Gucci ads, hamburgers. On your, on your bag, you can read it, and it'll tell you the health information. Pet Shop Boys have a video out called Integral, where they use these codes all through the Integral video. You can scan them right off the video screen, and it's, it sends you to a, a site that talks about the UK's data integration site. You read them with your cell phones. Pretty much any cell phone now can download these readers right to it so you can read it and scan these codes and do anything you want with them. It's great. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a really useful thing. You can get the software from any of these sites. You just go with your mobile phone to these sites, download the software. It's really easy. It's really fast. It's fun to work with. One of the, um, wow, you get lost real quick. <laughs> so one of the things that's going to happen with these is there's going to be a format war. There's already lots of codes coming out. People are realizing how important it is to connect people out and about in the world with their computers, getting those two things connected. It's going to be a fun thing to see. It's already happening. Graffitia.com. If you underline a word with a blue line, it signals that you can send that word at graffitia.com, and you'll get a website out of it. Yellowarrow.net does a similar thing with a code that's written on there. 
What's going to happen next after you get through all this is going to be image recognition. Eventually you're going to take a picture of a car, of your baby, of an orc, of any of these things and eventually you will be able to connect directly to somebody's site. Trademark your face, trademark your family now. <laughs>